What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Monica Pai is here. Welcome to another Food Friday, Food Friday, Food Friday. I'm gonna have to work on that engine a little bit. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to Food Friday where every Friday I like to debunk some nutrition myths or just talk nutrition with y'all. I'm trying out a uh, new thing that I saw on Instagram and I'm not sure if I like it, but um, we'll just try it out and see. So for today, I am actually talking about fat loss secret. There's actually a secret and I wanted to share it with you guys what this fat loss secret is. The trick is that there is no trick. There really is no trick and there's not a single thing that you can do in order to lose fat. In reality, you're gonna have to change everything. Like I always, always say, this is a lifestyle. This is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. So you're gonna have to change everything about your life. And I don't wanna like scare you off and be like, oh my gosh, like I have to change everything in my life. You can do it gradually. It's the only way that it's gonna be sustainable and you're actually gonna be able to keep it up. Because I, if you go in and diet for eight weeks, let's say, or however long, and then you go back to eating your old ways, you're gonna gain weight. I mean, there's just, there's really no way around it. You're gonna gain weight. However, if you learn like about eating vegetables and that food is fuel and what is good for you and what's not even, you know, even doing flexible dieting, then there is the, uh, the secret. So what I would have you do in the beginning is kind of just audit your day. Take a week and kind of write down everything that you eat from gum to like pizza, whatever. Just write it down, be honest with yourself and write down your exercise. And then you will kind of see, you're like, okay, this is obviously what I need to change. And also it helps if you're starting to work with a coach. That's what I like to do with a lot of um, my girls is kind of have them write down, sorry, there's thunder here again in Miami. I swear, every time that I videotape, I feel like there's thunder or something. Just to kind of give your coach a better idea of what you do on a daily basis and what you exercise and what you eat. And, hi, are you scared? She's so scared because of the thunder. I wanna show you guys. There are sacrifices that are gonna have to be made, obviously, anything in life that is worth something, you're gonna have to sacrifice. Sorry, I have notes here, which is why I keep looking down. I'm <laughs> like, weird. For females, basically, we're gonna have to diet longer. I know that it really sucks, but it's just the rule of science, the law of human nature, whatever you wanna call it. We usually have to do a little bit more cardio and eat less than men because, you know, our hormones were more estrogen prone. That's just the the nature of it is sacrifice more. You know, to start off your diet, I don't recommend that you start off seven week, days a week cardio and doing everything killer. I do not recommend balls to a wall. Like I said in my other video last week, what you want to do is to be able to lose the most amount of fat with the most amount of calories. So if from the get-go you already take off like you're at 1200 calories working out seven days a week, that's not really good. So you want to start gradually and then depending on your biofeedback, you start manipulating the numbers and seeing how it goes. But unfortunately, or fortunately, actually, uh, if you start looking at food in a different mindset, which is kind of what has happened to me over the years, I was just like, I would have thousands of coaches and stuff tell me, you know, don't binge after your show. And I binged. But now looking back, it's like food is just food, but it's just something that you're so deprived that you want that, which is what I'm trying to avoid for my clients and, and for all of you, honestly. The main fat loss secret is that in order to lose weight and keep it and to sustain, you're gonna have to change your lifestyle. It doesn't have to be completely like a 360. It can be very gradual. But I think 
slowly as you start learning, it becomes more interesting to you and you kind of realize, oh, okay, like maybe I'll have some veggies. Like I hate veggies, I'm not gonna lie. I am not a veggie lover whatsoever. But I did find a way to find, to get a lot of my daily uh, veggies inside my smoothie and I love it. So I've been having that smoothie continuously daily, except on my days off, as my pre-workout for like three years now. So that's just something that I really enjoy and has worked for me. So you gotta find what works for you. Maybe that's not something that you like. Maybe you hate that in smoothies and you wanna actually feel the texture and the crunch. Like I said, you gotta find what works for you. But I think as you start realizing what these foods, like these vegetables and these lean meats and, and these lean carbohydrates or the complex carbs do for your body, you actually want it more because you start feeling so good that you become addicted to that type of feeling. You stop feeling lethargic, you stop feeling like these cravings and stuff. You just feel more natural energy, you feel more pumped, you, you can focus, you can remember things and we want that feeling. As humans, we like enjoy a good feeling. So it's kind of like a natural high that your body does because it's happy with you. So those are kind of just little things that will come with this new change in lifestyle. So there you have it. A fat loss secret is completely change your lifestyle and make it sustainable. Sorry if it's not something that you wanna hear, but it is the truth. There really is no magic pill or, or magic food. Like there's no app cider that's gonna magically get you thinner. Unfortunately, there isn't. It's all about nutrition, and exercise and just what you feed your body. Something else that's really good is celery juice. I enjoy it. My husband, who hates vegetables, like it's literally dealing with a child. Why am I whispering? I don't know. But he actually likes celery juice. So, yeah, he likes celery juice. There's hope for the world. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will catch you in my next Food Friday, Food Friday, Food Friday.